Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited about this Spellbinders Large Die Kit of the Month set. This is unbelievably fun. Okay, so let's get into looking at what dies come in this, this set. Oh my goodness, look at all these. Okay, so first and foremost, I picked up this die and I thought, okay, I think I'm gonna make a few things with this. This is pretty incredible. I have a surfboard and a beach ball. There's a star. There's three sentiments, for you, hooray and thanks. There's a sort of like, um, I guess it looks kind of like some sort of foliage, a pumpkin. There's a present. There's wheels for the car, uh, a bumper, a tree. There's so much stuff in this kit. So let's look through what it might look like when um, we cut them out. Because I think sometimes it's hard to tell from the actual dies themselves. So what I did was I cut them out right here and I just wanted to show you kind of how to piece some of those things together. So it even comes with the little mirrors for the car. How cute is that? I know, I'm super excited about this. I need to simmer down. And the lights, comes with lights. So I'm gonna show you three cards that I made with this kit and how I put it together, um, and so we'll get started. All right, after of course I show you the sentiments, how they, they stamp out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make a sunset. So I pulled out some Distress Oxides, and I'm just gonna go back and forth and get a nice little blend here, and I'm gonna try to get it so that it looks like a summer sunset. The idea I had for these cards was I wanted to take us through at least three of the seasons. So I made a summer card, a fall card, and a winter card. Um, the only thing missing, of course, is a spring one, so I'll get to it. <laughs> but for now, I have to tell you, I really had a great time playing with this kit. I just let my imagination run wild, and I took my time with it. I didn't feel rushed. Um, it was just great. I just really had a good time. So. I'm gonna go back and forth as you can see me just blending on this, this um, paper here. I'm gonna go back and forth because I wanna soften out this blend. I could have used a lot lighter colors and gotten a lot lighter of a sunset, but I just wanted to go bold. So that's what I chose to do. So here you can see I am going to color the inside of each one of those pieces of the ball, the beach ball, because the beach ball will cut out the innards as well. So you get an outline and then you'll get the inside of it. And so that's great because then you can make the colors differently. At first, I stamped this in black and I did not like it. So I went with the white one because I'm pretty sure it's, it's a real one is white. And so then I'm just coloring this up in blue, yellow, and red, as I've seen many, many beach balls. And I'm using my Arteza markers. And so I'm just going to fill that in and get that all pieced together. Very easy. For the... Um, what is this called? The surfboard. For the surfboard, I'm actually going to affix it to a piece of vellum, which I did the beach ball as well. I know I didn't show you that, but I took a one inch circle punch and I it's exactly one inch circle. So that was my backing to put the innards in. And then I'm doing the same thing with this one too. I'm just adding those pieces right onto the vellum and it just works out perfectly. So I'm using red and blue for that one as well. And I do cover these pieces, all of these, the ball and the um, uh, surfboard, with some Nouveau Crystal Glaze, and that's to give it a more realistic look. Here, I'm gonna take some of those foliage leaves, and I'm gonna try to make them look a little bit like seaweed. That's kind of what the look I was going for, because I'm thinking summer. And so then I'm just gonna place those down a little bit different angled. So some are higher, some are lower. And I'm just gonna put those down on my card. I did use two different colors of oxides for those as well. So let's put our card together. I'm only gonna show you how I put this card together one time because that would just be redundant. So I'm gonna show you um, the tires, of course, and then this bumper. The bumper I cut out from Tonic um, Mirror Silver cardstock, which I thought was a beautiful addition to for that and the review mirrors, the um, side mirrors. I'm gonna put this hooray die right in the center there. Now this die, it cuts out into paper if you didn't want to have it separated or you can use the rectangle die that comes with it and cut the whole thing out. And so I decided to do that. 
I colored some of those circles. Those I cut those out of vellum and then I colored them with some alcohol markers to give them that red look but kind of see-through. And now I'm just going to turn this over and affix my pieces right on the inside of that trunk. Now I don't know if this is a car or a truck. It doesn't really matter. It's cute. And then I cut that, sorry, popped that up on some foam pieces. And there we have the card. I go back later and add the mirrors because I forgot them, the side mirrors. All right, so this is where I'm adding the Nouveau Glaze to the card. That was fun. That was fun to do. So let's move on to our fall card here. So right here, I'm going to use two different colors of oxides to color up my pumpkins. I'm going to make the top of them a little bit lighter, and then the bottom is going to be a little bit darker and that's going to give me a little bit of a gradient look not too much but it gives it a little something next i'm going to you can't really see what i'm doing here because they're so tiny but it actually cuts out a little piece of the top of the pumpkin and i'm just going to add that to all the pumpkin pieces as well so it's all the details in this set that are just so much fun really fun to play with Okay, so now I'm gonna make my background. I'm just putting down these oxide colors and I am going to just slap some watercolor card stock down on it. I've been really digging this look lately. I'm like a lot of my cards. I'm doing the oxide smushing. Uh, it's just so much fun. It's so easy. I mean, you get a wow look with such an easy technique. I mean, what more do you want? Right here, I'm gonna use a Versamark pen and I'm gonna just draw some lines on these uh, pumpkins because I'm then going to dip them into some glitter embossing powder and that's going to make my pumpkins really pop and just just make it but kind of up at a notch maybe a little bit into the elegance side of the continuum you know not too much but a little bit and so I'm going to heat set those and we get them all glittery and fun and don't mind my inky fingers obviously I was having way too much fun okay so I'm going to put a few of the pumpkins in the back of this car and um, we're gonna keep a few of them for outside the car. So I die cut the thanks sentiment. Again, I'm popping up my card with an egregious amount of foam tape and I'm gonna put this card at an angle because he looks like he's going for a joyride, he's having a good time and because of that, some of those pumpkins are actually gonna be like flying out of the truck. And so I decided to do that as well. I put a little tiny sliver of foam tape and um, on the pumpkin so that it pops up as well so it's dimensional. And there we go, those pumpkins are flying out. This is a joyride, people, having a good time. Okay, I made a second card. I actually made four cards in this video, sorry. I made a second fall card because I had a lot of that ink left over, so um, you know me, I like to smush it in there and get that extra panel. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these pieces, I cut a bunch of these pieces out in some really dark green cardstock and then some really light green cardstock. And I'm just trying to make a wreath here and trying to fill it out as best I can. So I didn't show you, but I actually uh, traced a circle around so I had some sort of a guide when I was doing this and that made my wreath a lot easier to make. And then I'm gonna cut that thanks out with some uh, glitter cardstock and just place that down on the matching green cardstock that's behind it. Sorry, that's the same dark green from the wreath. Add a little bit of this sparkle pen and there we go, we have that card finished. Moving into our winter themed card, I'm going to cut out a piece of masking paper uh, with a circle punch and that's going to be my moon and I am going to make a night snowy sky. I really, really enjoyed doing this. So I used the dusty Concord and then the faded jeans and some black soot, and I just worked it until the blend was exactly what I was looking for, nice and smooth, and um, yeah, back and forth. That's what you wanna do when you're blending the color onto this cardstock. Now I am using watercolor paper, and watercolor paper and Bristol Smooth work like magic with these oxides. They will still blend on other cardstocks because they're that good. But if you really wanna maximize the blending and just make it easier and you're not getting a tricep workout as much, then those two I would highly recommend. So here's the reveal and when I pull this off, it actually looks like the moon 
is glowing. It's incredible the way that this works. It's like an optical illusion or something, but it really, really does. It looks like it's glowing. I'm gonna take some regular, just acrylic white paint, added a little bit of water to it, and then just went to town. And I did some manual dots, and I did mostly flicking. And I did cover up the moon, though, uh, with the snow, with the mask. You don't have to do that. So here I'm gonna take this snowy marker. This thing is absolutely incredible. What you do is you put it down on your project and then you heat set it and it bubbles up. So you can see here as I'm doing that, it's just bubbling right up. It's so much fun. It does, it can come out. You wanna shake it up real well and it does come out kind of fast, so be careful. But I'm gonna add snow on the license plate, on the car, and then actually on the panel itself. So right here you can see me adding snow to the sides because it's like this truck is driving through. So fun. All right, so I'm gonna heat set that. Now you can use this stuff not just for snow. I've used it for poodles fur. Um, I've used it for um, beer, um, what's it called, beer foam on a beer mug in my card. I mean, it's just amazing. I really, really highly recommend that. And right here, I am gonna put this little present together and it comes with two pieces. You can glue them together and then you put this cute little bow on top. So. Um, you have yourself a little present. Now my two things I'm going to add to the car are going to be the Christmas tree upside down and the, um, the present. Now the Christmas tree comes in layers. So you get, you get the actual stem, which I cut, cut out of brown cardstock, and then each of the layers of the leaves. And so you can put it together like that. It's not hard. It's very fun to do. And I'm going to place my card right down. I added a star up in the upper right hand corner in some of that silver um, metallic card stock. And then I'm going to lastly add my little mirrors to the car. So this one I have to say I think is my favorite. I really do. It wasn't, it looks complicated. It was not complicated. So I think that's what's most fun about it is it looks like a really intricate card and it was just so much fun to do. All right, so those are my four cards right here. Thank you so much for stopping by and for hanging out with me. Uh, this was me highlighting the Spellbinders October Large Die Kit of the Month set. I will link everything I used below so you can go check this out for yourself. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. I always love hearing from you. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything from me in the future and to find me on other forums like Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.